Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I did another intro but I didn't like it or I might still use it. I don't know. I'm gonna film another one. Okay so let's jump in. You guys are shifting your whole entire life. You are going to be famous. You are meant to inspire millions. You are meant to inspire thousands on hundreds of people by having your dream business, by moving in your purpose. And there are a lot of people being removed from your life at this time. And there are people that are being put in a spiritual prison for being stubborn, for continuously trying you, sending you spell work. And you guys are just learning how to not empower anything in your life. You are not empowering the enemies. You are not empowering the ops. You are not empowering tarot or astrology. You're not empowering any of it because you are seeing where these things could be guidelines, but they do not have to rule your entire life. Okay, does that make sense? It does not have to rule your entire life. If we didn't move during retrogrades or whatever, we wouldn't be moving at all, okay? Or during full moons or during eclipses. Um, we are learning how to create our own portals, our own new timelines, our own new beginnings, okay? So you guys are moving towards things as the fool. You are embracing this new beginning. You are believing in magic, but you are also looking at the people that really doubted you, the people that you know still sp send spell work your way, I specifically was hearing a parent or a sibling. Okay, so there is you guys over here staying prayed up and strapped in every sense of the word, like I always say on this channel. And this is putting them in a spiritual prison. They haven't given up. They're never going to give up. They're not sorry. They've been warned. They've been continuously warned and they continue to do the same thing again and again and again and again. And then you guys have the people that are friends or loved ones that don't really listen to you. Give me your advice. Give me your advice. What should I do? What should I do? They know you're intuitive. They know you have abilities, but they're committed to misunderstanding you. They don't ever really actually listen to your advice. And so what you're starting to see is you're enjoying being by yourself so you can create the life that you deserve. You don't feel alone. You are enjoying being by yourself. A lot of you guys are tarot readers and you're realizing like, ooh, I do not want my subscribers or my clients to be reliant on this. Even if it hurts my business, I do not want them to be disempowered by what I'm doing. So like for me, for instance, I don't put tarot in my channel because that's not just what my channel is. My channel is daily motivation in any sense of the word, however I see fit. Cosmic, galactic, daily motivation. I get my downloads from God day to day and I choose to write those things down. I'll do channeled writing. And then you guys know me, I'm super ADHD, and I love the cards for illustrative purposes to paint the picture. But I don't want my subscribers to be reliant on like, where's August predictions? When are you going to post? Where is this? Like, what's going on? You guys are attracting like-minded people that are not empowering growth, that are not empowering um, this evolution, this empress behavior, okay? There are a lot of people that feel like they have to compete with you or they're low-key jealous and it makes you sad. It's not like you're over here like, oh, I'm so excited. They're jealous of me. You're like, dang, that sucks. I just hope they find their path and like you guys are humble, and you guys are learning to be incredibly grounded. And you are no longer listening to the things that you've been programmed to listen to. Okay? As you are becoming an adult, you are learning your powers, your abilities. You are empowering yourself. So you are either every queen in the tarot or you are every king in the tarot. But you are on your emperor or your empress behavior. 
you no longer accept just whatever. Crumbs, gaslighting, toxic whatever. The chaos agents in your life are being plucked. The distractions in your life are being plucked. The friends that you have that try to make everything look okay on social media and you know they feel like this on the inside. The ones that you've tried so hard to pull out of chaos, trauma, turmoil, or despair. And so God and the universe are bringing in divine intervention to say, hey, we know that you care about this person, but we need to put them over here. We need to relocate them so you can focus on what you're doing. Okay, so you can refocus on what you're doing. Now, the spiritual narcissist in your life, they are being put in a spiritual prison. They are relentless. Okay, absolutely re whoa. relentless. You guys are being given a lot of new ideas of how you want to speak everything into existence. You guys are being given a lot of new ideas of what you want this new timeline to look like. And there's a lot of people that aren't necessarily going to understand. So you are ready for this rebirth. You guys could be seeing 333, 777. You guys could be a life path 8 or a life path 5 or a life path 9. You guys could be seeing 111 or 1111. That you guys are building a new community divine partnerships yeah i'm excited for you guys whoa you know what fell on the ground the tower i told you guys these are shocking revelations of people that are not truly enthusiastic for you and though they might seem from the sidelines like they're supportive they are being relocated unfortunately and so the tower is coming in to show you like hey we gotta move said person because there's a lot of people just like all of a sudden being moved. And you're like, where are they going? Oh my gosh, they were here today, gone tomorrow. And it's because they were faking the funk with you. They're like, I'm just like you. Things are great. Um, I'm going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But they were empowering other things. They were empowering a toxic relationship or work di dynamic. Or they were listening to a toxic parent. And as you try to pull them out of this despair, you're just starting to realize where you just can't, where you're, you're blinding those that you love, unfortunately. So some people might feel left out in the cold by you. And I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like they put themselves here. I feel like some of them took your love for granted. They're like, oh, they'll always answer the phone for me. They'll always drop what they're doing for me. You guys are showing people, no, actually, I will not. I will not. Not on this new timeline. Not on this new timeline. So there are things being illuminated. There are things being revealed to you. And you're just like, well, dang. Well, dang. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer Sun Moon Arising. You guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Gemini. Well, I feel like it's a couple people, so it doesn't have to be their astrological signs, but you guys are just learning how to empower yourself and you're learning how to empower others the same because you don't want to see them this way. And there are people that aren't listening to you that were never going to listen to you and they're being moved over here. And then... This is making room for all the people that were always meant to listen, that want to hear your message, that are curious about um, the evolution of you. So people are, there are people coming in to celebrate you. You guys have recognition and stability coming in. 
stability that you were not expecting. You were just thinking, oh, I'll just be over here making ends meet. It's fine. But no, you have stability or a new home or celebration. You have divine partnerships coming in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, the star. You guys are the star. Duh. You are on that galactic cosmic gangster shit. Okay. And unfortunately, the people that you loved, loved that you were letting go of, you're like, well, damn, I just wanted them to see me doing good for myself. And then I did care about them. And it's just, I feel like you guys are going to move on from it very fast. Let me give you guys an example. I had a friend. They were always like this. I can't. They cheated. I don't know. Can you do a reading for me? Okay, I'm just going to stay with them. And then it went from staying with this person that was always cheating, always putting them in third-party situations, to hiding that they were with this person. My camera is dying. Hold on, guys. To always hiding that they were with this person. Letting this person ruin in their whole life, can take control over their whole life. They gave this person so much power. This person that they were dating, they gave them so much power. You can tell me how to dress. You can tell me when to go out. Yeah, you can cheat on me whenever. And it just broke my heart. And I would do these readings for her, like, because I only do them for close friends. And, um... It was just sad that, like, instead of her being like, you were right, which I didn't need to hear. I knew I was right. Um, it was resentment for me knowing that this person truly was a piece of crap. And so it's I just didn't want to do readings anymore, especially love readings for friends. I'm like, yeah, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. But at the time, I only did them for personal friends. So don't get scammed because I don't do personal readings. And um, they've been... It's like God relocated them a year ago. And me and my hairdresser that were friends with her, she's like, how is she doing? I'm like, oh, I don't I don't really know. They don't reach out to me unless they need something. And she's like, Ugh. so we're like basically dead to her. That's cool. Because she was only reaching out to her if she needed her hair done. And she only reached out to me for, like, tax purposes. <laughs> like, it wasn't because she just, like, hey, how are you doing? I miss you. And we were, like, sisters for, like, years. For, like, five years. Inseparable. And I think God, as divine intervention, was like, hey, they want, they like being like this. Okay? That's not where you're going. And you can't keep looking back trying to grab them. You can't keep looking back trying to put them in your chariot. You can't keep looking back and giving them the same advice and they're not listening. So, God is turning this car around. Justice is coming in. God is turning this car around. People are being relocated. You guys could have recently just reconciled with some friends and they're being relocated. And it's not because you're doing anything bad. It's not because you guys aren't meant to have friends. It's because where you're going... Not everyone is going, okay? It's kind of like back to the future. Not everyone's getting in the DeLorean, you feel me? Not everybody. That chariot ain't for everybody. Okay, are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Whoa, I caught him. We got the world card. Your world is about to feel complete. And you're thinking, oh, I wish I had friends, but whatever. I guess not. You're starting to enjoy being alone. Being by yourself, not feeling alone. The people that you cared about, some of them, they didn't believe in magic like you. They thought you were freaking crazy. And you knew and you knew deep down they thought you were crazy. You, though you didn't want to believe that. And I totally understand that as well. Like, friends that don't understand spirituality that are just like, what? This crystal does, huh? Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. And they weren't ever here to really, truly collaborate with you. They were takers. You guys had people in your life that were takers. They didn't give the same way that you gave. 
and you guys are learning like, oh, I'm graduating from this lesson, period. I'm not letting all these spiritual narcissists and needy little Decepticons constantly distract me and putting me on another timeline I don't want to freaking be on. You're like, I don't want to be on the timeline of, oh my gosh, like, you deserve so much better. Like, you guys are wanting to be around people that inspire you to not put up with certain shit. So you guys are going through a huge level up on how you speak things into existence, how you communicate with the collective, how you communicate on social media. You are figuring out your magical galactic aesthetic. Okay, you are figuring out your magical, galactic, cosmic aesthetic of life. Okay, you're figuring out how that sounds, how that looks, how that dresses, what that drives, what it eats. You guys are getting a lot of ideas and downloads how to make your life the absolute best. And that is because as you've been doing the work and the healing, and really putting so much effort in, God in the universe is helping remove the rest. And to you, they're like little towers. Like, oh, they're moving. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, damn. But to that person, it's like the shocking, like they're being moved. And it's fast. And they feel like everything's being upheavaled. And you feel bad for them. A lot of you guys feel bad for them, but justice is coming in to balance the scales. Okay, you were you were that kind, sweet soul that's like, you can ride in my chariot. You're my friend. I would never leave you behind. You know what I mean? But your friend is like, they're going to pick me up in what? You know what I mean? Like, they care a lot about their image. And some of you guys were never going to be able to get through to them but it will come with time everyone has their own path you feel me so you guys went from feeling unmotivated to being the most motivated so much to the fact where you motivate others maybe years ago or even months ago you never thought that you would see the day that you would go through this type of shift to where you went from lack of motivation to the most motivated. You are taking everything in your life in a totally different direction. Comment down below. I have the courage to change the course. I have the courage to change the course ahead. You are motivating yourself every day to do better. The divine God, the universe, and your ancestors are so proud of you. Whoever I'm speaking to, you guys could have a career in helping others, public speaking, activism, lobbying, mentoring, teaching. When you guys were around these people, you felt like you were in a boot camp from hell. You felt like this toxicity was never ending. And now you guys are finally feeling free of that to where you are not as angry anymore. You feel sympathy for them. Not enough to let them in your life, but enough. We have teacher confirmation. You guys went through some of these things so you could teach others how to get out of these types of circumstances. Okay, so you're realizing we're the rebel in you, okay? Everyone could know you as the black sheep, the lone wolf, the rebel, but you guys choose to be alone. You don't feel lonely. You choose to be by yourself, but you know that you're not alone. And that is powerful. You guys choose to be by yourself, but you know that you are not, you're never alone. You are never alone. 
You are never going to limit your beliefs again because you are meant to be an inspiration to the world. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are a survivor. Comment down below, I am a survivor. I will never give up. I am meant to inspire the world. I am meant to inspire thousands. I am meant to inspire millions. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're going to be famous inspiring millions of people to get out of situations and relationships like this. Right now, you are going through a shift where you are being ignited with brilliant new ideas. Okay, you guys are being ignited with brilliant new ideas. You guys are a born entrepreneur. Okay, a born entrepreneur, a born motiv motivator, a born teacher. And even though you guys look up to certain people, you don't make what they say the end all be all. Okay, you don't make what they say the end all be all. And then also whoever uh, this message is for, you are not giving power to other things. You are not giving power to other mentors, motivators. You are not giving power to tarot. And not because you don't believe in it, but because you want to empower yourself. You have the answers within yourself. Some of you guys are tarot readers and you might be thinking about using cards less and less and less because there's something growing within you where you are growing up and you are realizing certain things that you empower that keep you in lack. Maybe you went from waking up and needing to listen to a tarot reading to know how your day was going to go to... I'm intuitive. I'm intuitive as fuck. I know how my day is going to go. It's going to go amazing. You don't need anyone to tell you how your life is going to go because you have the courage to move a totally different direction. You are continuously shifting. You are continuously evolving. I love that for you guys. It just reminds me of when people are watching a tarot reading, right? And they're like, oh my gosh, when are you going to post? When are you going to post a video? Okay, or when are you going to do Leo? Or when are you going to do Cancer's video? Or when are you going to do August predictions? Or when are you going to, like, when are you going to post again? What's your new content going to look like? You don't want to encourage anyone to be reliant on anything that disempowers them because it's showing you that they are already playing the game wrong, the game of life. We don't empower the enemies. We don't empower the Decepticons. We don't empower Tarot. We don't empower anything to where it takes our power away. Not because we don't believe in these things, but because we know our strength. We believe in ourselves. We believe in our intuition and our abilities. So you guys have the courage to take off, to take flight, to take risk. People are going to be like, um, for my tarot readers out there, they're going to be like, what do you mean that you don't like need cards? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean you're not going to use tarot cards? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean you're not going to do zodiac signs anymore? What do you mean? Like... You are realizing certain things that you have encouraged and so you're you're ready to shift again. Okay, you guys are ready to shift again. That's why like on my platform, I don't say like this is a tarot channel. I don't say Britney's blah, blah, blah tarot because I just do whatever's called for daily motivation Okay, whatever makes me happy, that's the daily motivation. And I like the cards for illustrative purposes, but I don't need them. That's not how I get my downloads. A lot of you guys that have been with me for a while, you guys already know that. We have growth. At first, you felt like this growth was moving real slow. 
you didn't know like what you were doing. You were trying to figure it out. You're like, oh my gosh, is that one person right that's always attacking me? Are they right? No, they're wrong. They're dead wrong because you guys have the courage to take flight, to take off, to rise from the ashes. You guys are also tapping into good money flow. You guys have a job or a raise coming in and things are taking off sooner than expected because you are realizing that you don't have to worry about the how, the who, the what, the where. That is something that you guys are releasing. This is a big activation for you guys. You are releasing the who, the what, the when, and the where. Not because you don't believe in tarot, not because you don't believe in astrology, not because you don't believe in any of those things, but you're not going to empower it where you cannot maneuver without knowing. What's my daily hor horoscope? Well, let me check the transits. Well, let me let me get my cards out. Let me, let me see what's going on. You guys are learning how to do these things without that. Doing it because you like it. Doing it because it's a guideline or a map. Not doing it because it is the end all be all. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I heard um, Stargirl say this so perfectly. It is not the end all be all. Because I really couldn't think of the words to explain it. Like empowering astrology so much where we cannot move. If we didn't move because of these transits, like we would never freaking move. If we didn't move during retrograde, if we didn't move during full moons, like we would never freaking move. You feel me? So it's good to know these things as guidelines, but you guys are realizing where you need to constantly be evolving and this is what you're going to help others do. This is how you're inspiring millions. This is how you're inspiring thousands on hundreds of people to empower themselves. This activation is going to blow people's minds. You are activating your soul's purpose and you are receiving gifts and abilities. Awaken your soul and tap into your ancestral memory and inner wisdom. Period. Like I just keep hearing boom goes the dynamite. Like everything you do is explosive. It's like it makes sense. The way that you guys move makes sense to people. You guys have luck and solitude and windfall. You guys are releasing being a money manager. You're like, I'm not going to manage it. It's just going to come and everything's going to be good. I'm not going to worry about what that parent or sibling that can't stand me. I'm not going to worry about what they think. They're always going to be mad. They're always going to be stubborn. I'm going to pray for them. And I'm going to pray for myself. You are continuously protecting yourself, but you're not empowering them to have anything over you. You know, whatever they send your way, you got it. So the second anthem for this channel is we vibrate high, high as heaven. We stay prayed up and strapped in every sense of the word. Our destiny is our birthright. Don't start none, won't be none. If they didn't start none, we wouldn't have to pray all the time. We'd just be praying about other cool stuff, okay? So they just need to sit down. They're going to hurt themselves. They're literally going to hurt themselves because they've already been warned. Your enemies have already been warned. And so as you move away from being concerned about the things that you empower, you are empowering yourself on a whole nother level. And so you guys have solitude. This is you guys choosing to be by yourself. Not like, oh, I'm alone. I'm single still. Oh my gosh. This is not you guys worrying about that. Sorry, I keep messing with my hair. I've been out in the sun sweating, okay? And now I'm like, oh my gosh, let me fix this. You guys are choosing to be by yourself because it brings you solitude. Not everyone's on your level. And a lot of people are being removed from your life because they are not on your level and they will only serve as a distraction. Maybe you guys have people that you love and you're like, why are they moving away? What is going on? 
there could have been some people that you just reconciled with and they're like being plucked right back out of the situation, out of the equation. It's because as you tap into this solitude, God in the universe is going to do the rest. The rest of the heavy lifting, like, hey, I know that you maybe want this person around, but they're going to serve as a distraction. They are not going to understand you. You guys are calling in people that are going to understand you. The type of people that you are attracting are people that understand where you're trying to get. They understand what you're trying to obtain. They understand your purpose. They're not like, oh, that's cool. You want to be a what? You're a who? You're like, yeah, I'm a fucking star seed. And I just, I'm living my best life, manifesting my every wants and, and needs. And life is just really good. They're like, what? You're a who? <laughs> like some of you guys are like, I am a high priest or high priestess. I am a prophet or a prophetess. I am an indigo child, a star seed, whatever you resonate with, chosen. There are friends and family that are like, they think you live on Mars. They're like, what are they talking about? <laughs> okay. So this is why some of them are being removed. The money managers, the people that like, I gotta work and it matters how much money I make and... The things that they're worried about are all the wrong things. They're not incredibly wrong, but you're just on a different path. It's for you, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Okay, so you are bringing in windfalls of luck. So much that you are drowning in it. So you have people that are not going to understand this activation. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, like, they're the luckiest freaking person I've ever freaking met. They're not going to understand that anything you do is prosperous. They're not going to understand that they can have anything that they want. They don't understand that. And even though you would love to teach them, you know that they have no interest in it. They have a different mindset. You have a lot of people around you that you would love to teach, but they are not in the headspace to learn yet. They have not awakened to these things. And so God or the universe could be removing them from your life right now. Not too far, but far enough to where they are not serving as a distraction from your purpose. Okay, you think your cutoff game is strong? God's like, boop. The universe is like, beep. Let me move them over here because, oh, no, 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 no. You are just getting your fire back. You were just really starting to figure it out. You think they're going to let them come in and be like calling you up on the phone every two seconds, texting you every five seconds. When you are tapping in your divine purpose to literally recalibrate and save the world, the world that is ready for this, you guys are getting not just a windfall, an unexpected windfall, and not just soon, now. You guys no longer have to feel like when you're trying to help certain friends that you're a counselor. You ever counsel a friend that's like, give me their counsel. What, okay, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. And then you tell them and then they do the same dumb shit over again. These people are being removed from your life. These people are being removed from your life, unfortunately, because they're not ready. They're not ready for the message. How many times can you give it? I want you guys to sit down and think about how many people have unexpectedly moved away. Unexpectedly moved states. Okay, I'm going to personally share how many people I think. Let me calculate it. Three. Two. Three. No. Yeah, three. I have three people within the last year. That as I've been changing, they've moved. They have been relocated. Divine intervention is here. You guys are tapping into your purpose. This is a huge transformation for you guys. 
And it's not like you can't still um, communicate with these people, but they were not ready for the counseling that they were asking for. They were not ready for the advice that they were asking for. And they will only serve as a distraction. God and the universe are getting rid of distractions. Okay. You guys might be really good at counseling others and helping people reach their financial goals or helping people with the law of attraction. Well, you have divine partnerships coming in right now. Not people you feel like you got to like sit them down and it's got to repeat it and they're just not listening. Divine partnerships. Comment down below. I am attracting divine partnerships. Okay. You are manifesting a strong and successful partnership. Okay. You're not just the helping machine. You have a divine purpose. Okay. Whoever I'm speaking to, you have a divine purpose. There are many things that you are shedding, bad habits that you are shedding, you know, not so great acquaintances that you are shedding. There is a whole life that you are shedding. You guys could have animals or be thinking about um, doing something having to do with animals. Animals are very, uh, they're like attracted to you guys. They're attracted to your light. God is getting rid of people that are unreliable and distract you from your business or your task at hand. Um, God, the universe is getting rid of people that cause conflict. Okay, they cause conflict in your life. They make you feel like you being spiritual is wrong. And they're not even bad people. They just make you feel like you're crazy. They just don't understand you. Okay, they just don't understand you. And some of you guys don't even bother to explain it because they'd really be like, what are they talking about? So it's people that you are having personality clashes with, people that you love and care about, they are being plucked and removed and relocated. And I don't feel like you guys are ending anything on bad terms. God or the universe just doesn't want you juggling it. They don't want you juggling Cindy Lou Who and Bobby down the street when you have an actual divine partnership coming in. Okay, you have an actual divine partnership, windfall of abundance. Okay, people that are coming in that are so inspired by you, captivated by you. That you don't have to do a lot of explaining. They just understand you. Okay? They just simply understand you. You guys have new beginnings with new partnerships coming in. But right now you're in solitude. And you're enjoying being by yourself. And it's always like as you enjoy being by yourself that all of these divine connections come into play. Something is emerging. Something new is emerging. A new source or a new source of income. Embrace the power of newness and make room for new possibilities. Okay, make room for new possibilities. Yeah, the people that are meant to be in your life, they understand you without explaining a word. The other people that are being removed are people that are on the low, committed to misunderstanding you. Because if it doesn't fit their narrative for the advice that you gave, or they truly just don't want to follow it, they need to be misunderstanding. You feel me? Okay, so let's see what else we get for you guys. We have media. I told you guys, you are going to be famous on social media. You are going to get mega recognition on social media for doing what you love. Whatever you love to do, you are going to get paid to do that on social media. I know it does not matter what your age is. We live in a day and age where you can be famous from the comfort of your own home. Get the recognition from the comfort of your home. Share what you love to do. Inspire millions, thousands, hundreds from the comfort of your own home. You guys are meant to shine on social media. 
You were not meant to be juggling side jobs and nine to fives. You are meant to be maybe semi juggling things that you love doing. You guys are learning how to get more publicity for yourself. Whether it's on the radio, podcasting, mass media job. You guys are taking action in your life and you are believing in the magic. And as you believe in the magic, there's so many surprises coming in for you. So this is what the spiritual narcissist in your life, you know, the parent or the siblings that are the chaos agents, they're seeing this. They're like, who do they think they are? Trying to send whatever janky ass spell work your way. They need to take several seats. Okay, several. I cannot. Next level. You're on a new level. You're on a new level. You are taking your finances or your business to the next level. But I'm also hearing manifestation. You are taking your manifestations to the next level. Comment down below. I am taking everything to the next level. God's divine favor is all over my life. The universe's love is all over my life. You guys are being gifted different things for designing your life, designing your legacy, designing your creativity, what makes you happy. I don't care if it's knitting. You're the most creative, inspirational knitter on all of social media, and you are inspiring other people to do what they think they're good at on social media. This is your grand cosmic galactic design. This is your grand cosmic galactic design. You guys got a new attitude. You got a new strategy. You are ready to improve it all. Okay. Everything you're doing is for the long term. You're like, I'm not going to be somebody's employee forever. Nope, 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 nope. Unless it's what makes you happy. You guys are only going to do what makes you happy. Like you are leaps and bounds from the person that you used to be. And now you are getting incredibly grounded with the person that you know you can become. You are trusting in the universe. You are trusting. Okay. I've been singing this song for two days. Do you believe in magic? And then like making up my own words. Okay. Do whatever makes you happy. Literally. Is it singing? Is it acting? Is it designing? Is it animals? Okay. You are self-made. You are the self-made goat. The greatest of all time. You will become successful or rich by your own efforts. You always thought like, oh, I thought my parents were going to help me. I thought my siblings were going to help me. I thought they were going to help raise me up and lift me up. If you guys resonate with the beginning of the spiritual narcissist that's in the shadows watching your social media and being a little weirdo, your, your continuous effort and prayers continuously living the life that you desire shows them that you are self-made and you have done it by your own efforts. Everything is happening in divine timing. You guys have so much recognition coming in. Are you ready? Are you even ready to be drowning in shock and happiness? Just pure pandemonium? Your angels are working behind the scenes. Things will come together at exactly the right time. Comment down below. My angels are working behind the scenes. Period. Okay, let's see if we get anything else. Anything else for the collective? Whoa, okay, we'll take it all. Okay, hello, you guys. I told you, you have a muzzle. 
a chokehold on your enemies. The ones that will never give up. You make them feel this small. Okay? They're like stretching out their hand to like send one more spell. Give you some more freaking stinky, blinky, pinky, evil eye. Yeah, that freaking eye probably got pink eye in it. Evil and twitching. They thought they had this on lock, okay? They thought they had this on lock. They thought they could spoil your fun, ruin you. They can't ruin shit. You're unstoppable. Because you guys are realizing that you are an official person, you are realizing that you are officially whoever you want to be. You've never been so sure. Because of that, you are calling in a different soul tribe, a different family. Because maybe you weren't raised with the family that you, you thought you'd have. And maybe they're all, you know, jerks. I grew up with an abusive, toxic household like a lot of you guys. And so I've always had to be adopted by other families, be raised by other families, cling on to other families. Now you guys are attracting the family that you deserve. Okay? You are attracting the family that you deserve. The family that understands you. That is also inspired by you. That looks on with admiration and applause. People that want to celebrate you. We have family room. And I'm quick to cut a, cut a Becky off so don't get comfortable. You guys are showing people, I believe in magic. You don't even have to say it to them. They just can see that you do. They can see that you are a protected child of God. They can see that the universe rides for you. You guys are redefining luxury, stability, and what is comfortable for you. You are getting your just desserts. And you are learning how to manifest your every desire. Not just things that you want. Things that you desire. Like a family. Recognition. Your purpose. Things that you desire. They don't go away. And that's what you guys are tapping into. Comment down below. Whatever I summon comes running. Whatever I summon comes running, duh. I'm a master manifester. And, and what I desire already desires me. Already been desiring me. So this busted, dusted karmic tea party can no longer affect you. They can no longer affect you. It's child's play. It can no longer affect you. I think they're they're going to be shocked the life that you're going to be leading. You want to know why they're going to be shocked? It's because they continuously stacked the odds against you. And here you are rising gleaming and beaming and breathing and shit and they're just like how they don't get it they don't get it whoa that's too many that's too many we're not taking all of those we're not taking all of those you guys are ready for this journey okay you're in solitude preparing for the journey you are ready for the ride of your life comment down below i am ready for the ride of my life i got my bags packed I am ready for the ride of my life. I am ready for divine partnerships. Whoa, these are flipping out like freaking crazy. Wealthy man and gift. No one can steal this from you. You feel like, dang, they stole years and time. It's not even going to bother you anymore. Some of the things that you've been through, you're going to be grateful. 
like for me and my one sibling I do I do speak to I'm so proud of them and me and this sibling were the most abused and we are going to be the most successful because we got it the worst it expedited us being independent it expedited us figuring things out and everyone else in the family is lay miserable okay and um this sibling's a lot younger than me and i'm like look at you look at you so proud because this sibling could have let everything the toil the labor the sadness the grief the obstacles the trauma take over and didn't and I'm so proud of them for not going down the same path as me which was addiction and alcoholism I'm so proud of them for seeing their worth and for realizing like they don't have to they don't have to settle for less they don't have to just accept crumbs so I love that but yeah I am seeing that there are people like, you guys are realizing that you are of high honor. You're not some regular, schmegular whoever. You are galactic. A galactic goat. You are of high honor. So there are people being relocated for a reason. You're not meant to be juggling semi-Decepticons, baby Decepticons, and somewhat Chuchelinis. You are not meant to be juggling all of that. You're meant to be juggling creative ideas vacations you want to go on, things that you're bringing in, ideas that you have, not the despair of everything you tried to pull certain people out of. Because these people that are being relocated, you really tried to pull them out of despair. You gave them a playbook. This is all you have to do. Just do it this way and say that and 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 and, and apologize for that. And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And they would do the freaking complete opposite. So now, you know they're like this on the inside. But on social media, they're like, they're like turning it up on 1,000. And you're like, I know better. I know better. This is why they're being removed. Because they're on some fake shit. They've got a journey to start. And everyone has a different journey and timeline. And it's not for you to figure out why and who and maybe you're paths will cross back again later but for now you guys are paying attention like oh dang these people are being relocated your health will be better your finances will be better as a lot of I don't want to say dead weight but there's some weights being lifted off of you and that was you thinking you were obligated to certain friends or family you guys are ready for expansion rapid expansion you got your bags packed you're like i believe in magic don't know where i'm going don't know how i'm getting there don't know how i'm paying for it but i'm getting there you guys are getting there i love that let's get you guys an angel number Ooh, we got three two two three two two So if you guys want to look this up and take a screenshot of it, it'll be important to your message. You guys, let me know what's going on in the comments. I love you guys so, so much. If you guys are looking for in-depth ad-free, pick a card content link is in the description box. Thank you guys for all of your beautiful messages on Cash App and Super Chat. You guys are incredible. I'm so grateful for you guys. And yeah, don't forget to and hit the bell. Duh. And I'll see you guys in the next one.